Thank you, Kian uh, Corla Um Taoiseach, the lives of an entire generation have been defined by a housing crisis. It's a crisis that was created and worsened by bad Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael policy. And so many people now, uh, for them, the aspiration of purchasing or owning their own home has been reduced to a distant pipe dream. You know, Taoiseach, that for years people have been calling out for a government that will take the housing crisis seriously and that will implement a plan that will once again make housing affordable for workers and families on average incomes. And when you took power last June, you claimed that you would be that government. You said that you would fix housing. You said that you would introduce a plan that makes an affordable home an achievable goal for ordinary people and families. And then your housing minister, Dara O'Brien, spent month upon month promising an affordable housing plan, and we all waited and waited, only to be extremely disappointed by what he and your government have produced, and more than that, to be actually very angry, because the scheme that Minister O'Brien has come up with, his shared equity scheme, does absolutely nothing to make housing more affordable. In fact, it will achieve quite the opposite, Taoiseach. His scheme will prop up already unaffordable prices, and his scheme will make a bad situation so much worse. His policy could be described as both a continuation of disastrous Fine Gael housing policy, but also one that has strong echoes of the failed Celtic Tiger policies of your own party, Fianna Fáil. And it will have the effect of maintaining unaffordable prices and saddling working people with more unsustainable debt. Taoiseach, I've raised this issue with you before. I've said to you for some time that this plan is dangerous, and I have advised you that it will not work. And, of course, I haven't been on my own. The Department of Public Expenditure and Reform, the Economic and Social Research Institute, and indeed the Central Bank have all warned you and told you that your scheme will drive pr prices up. And now, even the Fine Gael Group of Councillors on Dublin City Council have begun to see sense and have come out against this scheme. But it seems so far that just as in the bad old days when you were last in government, Taoiseach, your minister seems intent on ploughing on regardless. And I have to say, in the middle of a housing crisis, perhaps it is only a Fianna Fáil minister for housing that could even think of introducing a scheme that would inflate house prices and put money straight back into the pockets of developers, whilst bullishly ignoring warnings from senior government officials and for experts. So, the truth is this, Taoiseach. Your price-inflating shared equity scheme was written and designed by property developers for property developers. And Taoiseach, when you were trying to make housing affordable, you shouldn't allow developers to call the tune because their job is to maximise profits for themselves and the job of government is to deliver affordable housing for ordinary citizens. But it seems with Fianna Fáil back in charge of housing, property developers are back in control you, and Deputy ordinary Tyson. people will literally pay the price for that. And if you persist, with this lame duck scheme, up, home Dave. ownership will remain beyond the Thank reach of much, those Deputy. on modest income. So I want to ask you, Taoiseach, to time, scrap Deputy. this scheme. Um, very clearly, the Deputy uh, is engaging in a propagandistic uh, sloganeering approach to housing. Uh, and as you know, in the recent budget, uh, the government allocated unprecedented resources to a broad suite of measures to deal with the housing crisis. Um, the largest social housing uh, programme was budgeted for uh, for 2021 in terms of public housing and social housing. Uh, direct bills, approved uh, housing bodies, uh, and yet uh, the Deputy has consistently ignored um, 
the, the largest bu bu budget in history that has been provided um, for house building um, generally. Uh, and that is the reality. And we had planned to build 9,500 social homes in 2021. Clearly, that would be the biggest amount uh, in the history of the state. But clearly, COVID-19 now uh, and, the, and the current lockdown uh, will impact on that. But we will try and recover ground as much as we possibly can. Uh, and I would say that the Fianna Fáil has been in government now for eight months. Uh, and in that period, from the July stimulus on, we have made very rapid progress in relation to housing, in terms of the Land and Development Agency Bill, for example, in terms of pulling that, uh, getting real detailed uh, uh, work on that bill, which will be an extra lever when it is passed to affect and give effect to the building of housing, both social and affordable um, in, in this country. And the Minister has published the affordable housing bill uh, on, on January the 20. It delivers on the programme for government to put affordability at the heart of the housing system. Our only interest is in giving young people a chance to buy houses. Um, and at the moment, if you take last year, for example, um, the, the number of houses built was not sufficient to deal with, with the housing uh, crisis. So this kind of branding and this kind of reference to developers and all that is just political propaganda. Uh, because at the moment, we do not have the degree of activity either in the private sector that we should have uh, or indeed um, in the public sector that will pick up. The VOIDS program alone has, was, a, was an immediate and effective uh, piece of work that we undertook from July to, to the year, with nearly 2,500 uh, houses returned uh, for, 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 for people uh, to, to, to access uh, uh, in, 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 our, in our country, which I think was evidence of a can-do approach to this. Uh, and we will use all measures to improve and enhance affordability, but also to get houses built, uh, because ultimately we need to get more houses built. Uh, and that will take efforts in the private sector and in the public sector and uh, through approved um, housing uh, values. And all the while uh, focusing, of course, on the crisis of homelessness itself. Sinn Féin has consistently opposed home ownership. You've voted against our affordability motions. You've voted against the Help to Buy scheme. Uh, you're now against the equity scheme before it's even set up. It hasn't even been set up. It's nowhere near as dangerous as you're trying to indicate that it is. On Dublin City Council, Sinn Féin have voted against housing development motions 16 out of 21 times. Um, and it's time on those issues you got off the fence and started allowing housing schemes to start and not allowing ideology and politics to get in the way of getting houses built. And I think there's too much of that going on uh, on Dublin City Council and elsewhere uh, in terms of very significant projects that could allow for affordable housing right now before any scheme if they were allowed to develop. But you have consistently opposed such schemes. And I think it really undermines the credibility of the proposition that you've made here this morning. My only interest and the interest of the government is to get as many houses built as we possibly can. Uh, we know it, we should be, according to the ESRI, building about 33,000 houses per annum to deal with demand and to deal with the crisis that we've experienced now for the last number um, of years in the housing situation. And, our, and, and, and in addition to that, uh, to create you, the, uh, capacity up. for people to be able to afford to buy houses. Deputy MacDonald. Uh, thank you, Karen Corla. Well, Sinn Féin is for public housing and affordable housing. Uh, we are very, very clear uh, on that, Taoiseach. And the evidence of your housing failures are there for all to see and are very, very real. It's not propaganda. The suffering and the anger of workers, of families, of younger people in particular who cannot afford a home is real. It is not uh, fiction. And the fact that your proposed shared equity loan scheme will prop up unaffordable prices, will line the pockets of developers and leave ordinary people out in the cold is the simple, plain fact of the matter. And uh, you can, you know, play whatever games you wish, uh, Taoiseach, but people know that housing policy has been you, a Deputy. disaster in up. the past on your watch. And we are watching now again, Tisha, while you make more disastrous decisions Time in slow up, motion. Deputy, so I'm asking you again to We're listen to the experts, 
to listen to common sense and to ditch this lame duck scheme. Thank you very ditch much, it, Deputy. Taoiseach, Thank, and do the Deputy, right thing. Please, Dep Taoiseach. The government will start will build a number of ladders in terms of creating opportunity for young people who are caught off, uh, are caught up at the, um, and purchased in a rip-off rental market. Uh, we want to liberate young people from that and give them opportunities uh, to buy homes and to be in a position to afford houses uh, that we, we will be built. And the new equity scheme is targeted uh, and it's aimed to do that, along with the new affordable purchase scheme with the state directly building affordable houses, uh, that's uh, for the proposal, and the retained and expanded head to buy scheme. So there's a suite of measures there. We also want to get people back on site, putting bricks and mortar in the ground by tackling planning barriers. Irish water connection delays and additional capital money has gone into Irish water, for example, to get sites ready. Uh, that, that whole infrastructure piece is very important uh, in, in, in enabling houses to, 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 to be built. Uh, it needs, um, the housing crisis needs a broad range of measures. Uh, to, to deal with it comprehensively and to really get to grips with it. Unfortunately, COVID-19 has intervened uh, both Thank last you, year Time uh, is up. and this year, but be, under, but be in no doubt as to the government's determination uh, to do the right thing the time is up. Uh, for people in terms of getting houses. The Labour Party